Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. Hey guys, hope you're all well and welcome to this commission showcase. We have got an absolute treat in the form of this super vibrant custom schemed Adeptus Sorority Sisters of Battle army. Uh, I know you're going to like this one because it is so, so vibrant and really, really awesome. Um, so Paul's worked on this one, one of the artists here at Siege. Uh, again, really nice colour palette of blue, purple and orange uh, with a couple of other little accent colours thrown in for the mix. But uh, predominantly those three colourways uh, and where better place to start than with Celestine and her Gemini right from the get-go. A uh, little bit of converting work done on these as well. So we've got uh, a little bit of sculpting that's just been done on them to give them some hoods. And you'll note that through the uh, through the army video. Um, this uh, Gemini here, obviously with a hood on her head, as you can see there. Uh, and then obviously we've got uh, this brazier here with this blue flame that just uh, is uh, resonating and refracting up her leg as well. So you've got a nice subtle bit of OSL there that's just been put onto the miniature, which is just awesome. Uh, if we move it around, you can see this really cool kind of grim dark base with that skull there with obviously that sort of OSL of that light. Uh, just really, really well done. And uh, we've got these really awesome sashes with these free-handed sun markings, which are the, uh, the, the sort of unique heraldry for this uh this uh, sisters of battle force which is really really cool um this covenant has obviously got uh, a sun as i mentioned as their as their sort of icon so yeah so that's been freehanded on various areas of the miniatures as well and you'll see that through the force as well but again a really lovely lovely execution on these uh, on these miniatures by paul one of the artists here at siege we'll look at the other gemini just to show you the consistency between the two uh, again she's just uh, sort of pointing at an enemy there i do love the blue sword as well it almost looks like it's got the same kind of energy as this uh, as this flame which is cool but again you've got that really nice subtle uh, OSL there just on the legs of this orange super vibrant orange armor which is just awesome uh, so that's this uh, other Gemini and then we have the lady herself we have uh, Saint Celestine uh, again a really awesome miniature that uh, Paul's created and just again the conversion work here to just change the um the overall uh, look of the miniature and also give her a, a veil like a purple veil that she's got there as well which is just really cool and you can see that sort of glow effect coming off the sword which is just awesome uh, just refracting up her arms and her front of her chest plate as well which is quite cool uh, and then moving around the back we've got this huge free-handed sun icon on her sort of robe or tabard should i say you can see all that text just done there on that purity seal as well uh, on those purity seals you've got these awesome porcelain white doves just flying by there as well and uh, and again we've got uh, these really cool almost like steel wings uh, with those uh, orange kind of like leading edges of the wings as well which is just phenomenal uh, so again a really really cool miniature uh, I love the use of the lighting effects on them as well which is really cool and again we've got this lovely base there that subtle blue glow from the blade just coming from above as well which is just awesome so that's Celestine and her Gemini uh, to lead this force there's lots of awesome miniatures following Following these so stick around through the video because I know you're going to enjoy it so next up we've got all of the infantry from the force and there's 20 sisters of battle in two squads of 10 uh, each with a superior and then we've got a simulcrum or an icon in each squad as well plus a cherub as well uh, so a really good set of miniatures and again Paul's done a great job we'll just pull these forward so you can have a look at them uh, but again you've got this super striking orange and purple scheme absolutely love it just a really really nice scheme to uh, to show off these miniatures in all the glory I love that all the little screens and dials and things are done in that blue just to carry on that blue theme and blue colorway through the um through the project as well which is really cool got these lovely red desaturated gun casings as well which just works uh, really well for the miniatures uh, just helps in uh, sort of not taking away from the sort of super vibrant armor that these uh, ladies have got uh, which is really cool but super cleanly painted all edge highlighted through multiple stages you've got the really vibrant orange as you can see here on camera it's just a beautiful beautiful uh, sort of scheme um, and then uh, let's have a look at uh, this other sister here just advancing firing her bolt if I can just get this to focus for you guys there we go uh, again a really really cool kit the sisters of battle kit loads of little details and bits and bobs all fully painted on these uh, these awesome awesome models uh we'll pull forward one of the icons so you can have a look i'm not going to pull forward all 20 models but uh, i'll pull forward a nice selection of them so you can see them again really well executed here you've got this lovely sort of uh, desaturated gold on the top of that sort of uh, banner which is quite cool uh really sort of stoic pose of this uh, lady here just firing away with her pistol while she's uh, holding that banner and you can see uh, just really really well done nice chair up there 
on top as well. That super clean uh, execution on the wings of the uh, of the sort of cherub as well. Um, and again, you've got those little screens there just on the backpacks done in that sort of blue as well, which just really, really works. Uh, so that's this awesome icon from the unit. Uh, we'll pull forward at this superior to have a look at her because all of the superiors have got... Um, uh, some sort of sculpting just done on them to give them sort of veils, which is really cool. Just adds a little that extra colorway of purple to the to the uh, force onto the top of the heads of these superiors and denotes them in the squads as well, which is really cool. Uh, got a lovely sort of blue brush blended sword on her as well. And move around the back, you can see uh, just again the really clean execution across all the areas of detail on the miniatures. Uh, just really, really well done. So that's just another one of the superiors. Uh, I like that some of them have got like mossy kind of colorway on the bases, as you can see with this lady here. She's got a bit of moss, kind of like a greenish hue, just to, that green to complement the purple of the tabards as well, which just works really, really nicely. Um, again, these sort of stone basing uh, that has been done across the, the, the army, which is really, really nice. All the purity seals have got text on, as you can see. Um, and then we'll pull forward one of these little cherubs from the back so you can have a look at these. Uh, again, I know you saw the one on top of the uh, on top of the uh, the banner, but just as so you can see this one here. Again, really cleanly executed, lovely saturated gold on these as well. Just a really, really nice, um, a nice execution on these. So that's just one of these little cherubs. Uh, into those, it's really, really clean wings that this guy's got. Uh, and then let's move across the other squad just so you can see the consistency from miniature to miniature. Got another sister here just advancing and firing that bolter. Uh, just get that to focus for you. There we go. Uh, again, just really, really cool. Very calm and collect there as she's advancing. Uh, you've got this really vibrant orange, which I absolutely love. Uh, I often say it in, in different sort of videos and interviews and things. There, there are lots of projects that come in that I do not want to give back. And this is one of them. I absolutely love this colorway. Uh, you don't see many orange armies. So to do a sister's battle army in orange with purple is just a really really lovely opportunity and a great choice of colors by our client i love the desaturated in a in a cloth uh, in a red sort of uh, cloth on the uh, on the sort of capes and tabards and things that really really works well uh, just matches obviously the gun casings she's just blasting away there with that storm bolter We'll have a look at the other superior. Again, a very commanding uh, sort of leading leading pose, which I do really, really, really like. Let's just get that to focus, guys, sorry. There we go. Uh, again, you see that all the gold work done to a really, really nice colorway. Not as desaturated as what was on that banner, but just obviously quite more vibrant and bright, the gold actually on the miniatures. Uh, I like the way that Paul's used the different tonal variations on the uh, the gold, just to show age of, of different pieces of equipment as well. Like obviously she's got this scabbard here for her sword. Uh, you've got quite a warm saturated gold on there whereas obviously on the banner top if you know, it's, it's a little bit desaturated and shows it a bit more sort of ancient uh, so a lot of thought put behind those aspects of detail in the miniatures which is, uh, is, is shown in the painting uh, again really really nice basing on all these miniatures you've got these cobblestones which is just great and again that lovely brush blended sword that she's got uh, and then we'll have a look at uh, the other banner sort of simulcrum imperialis from this uh, unit on the right uh, again, just really, really well done. Uh, a lovely execution across this miniature, just blasting away there, sort of tilting the pistol to the side, a little bit gangster. Uh, <laughs> so really cool. You can see all the text and everything done there on that uh, simulcrum uh, and all the purity seals and everything all done. Uh, if we move around the back, you can see that sharp consistency and highlighting done across all of the miniature. Uh, do really love what uh, what Paul's done on the sort of outer casing of that sort of simulcrum, that sort of tonal variation as you go down the sides and the back as well, which is really cool. And again, you can see the gold difference between the miniature and also the uh, the top of the simulcrum just to show that ancient baroque kind of uh, feel on the uh, on the gold. Uh, I'll pull forward one of the sisters just throwing a grenade, which is quite cool. We got her just, just just biting off the pin there, about to bite the pin off, which is just awesome. Uh, and again, really, really lovely execution across all of these infantry. I do hope that you like them ever so much. And uh, we've got some more sisters coming up, so stick around for those. So next up, we've got all of the Seraphim from the Force, uh, a really iconic Sisters of Battle unit, uh, the uh, Assault Infantry of the Army. Uh, a really, really cool set of miniatures and uh, weapon loadouts. We've got some Melta, we've got some bolt pistols, and we've got obviously some plasma in there as well, uh, but just really, really well executed by Paul. Again, you've got this super, super vibrant, uh, bright orange armor that uh, has been obviously seen throughout the video so far. But uh, again, these do not disappoint either. You're not going to miss these flying at you. Uh, really, really well done. Obviously, that purple and orange, uh, orange color sort of combo just works extremely well and again pulls on all the little screens and things on the jump packs the rears just really all painted those really really well uh, again just uh, leaping forward blasting away with those double melter or fusion pistols uh, just really really well executed we'll have a look at the superior from the first squad here 
Uh, just so you can have a look at her. Obviously, she's got a veil over her head as well, which is really cool. You can see that super vibrant gold that she's got on those uh, sort of different areas of detail that are on there. And again, really, really well executed. I love the subtle blue plasma glow just on the pistols as well. That's really, really cool. Uh, so that's just the first superior. We'll dive through and have a look at some of the ladies at the back. Uh, again, you've just got these awesome, awesome sculpts uh, with so much little bits of detail on them. Uh, we've been waiting for a very long time for the sisters range and GW did not disappoint in any way, shape or form. Uh, these awesome, awesome plastic seraphim are just great. Uh, I do love that you can still make some of the very iconic old kind of poses like this one, which is also really, really cool. Uh, just again, a really, really lovely miniature uh, just with that orange and purple combo. You can see the really clean painting across all the areas of the model. Uh, just really, really Really well done so that's the first squad on the left uh, and then we'll have a look at the obviously squad here on the right uh, just to show you the consistency from model to model um you get, again just really really well done she's obviously got the inquisitional eye there on her forehead which is just awesome and then as she's blasting away with her bolt pistols which is just absolutely brilliant uh just getting that to focus for you guys apologies uh just, just leaping forward and advancing a uh, really really great miniature uh, so that's just the first one. Uh, we'll have a look at the superior from this squad as well, just so you can see her. Again, she's uh, got that veil over her head, just so you can see that also. Uh, again, with the plasma there with that subtle blue glow. Again, that lovely use of the blue just to complement the orange and the purple just works really, really well. Uh, again, just bolt pistol in other hand. And then you've got all the purity seals and everything all fully painted on the back of the models also. Uh, so yeah, just really, really well executed. So that's the superior. And then we'll have a look at a few more from this squad and just pull them all forward so you can have a look. Uh, you've got another lady here, just uh, double fusion it up. Um, just again, really, really, really well done. Um, just uh, love the white hair on this lady as well. Just really makes that head stand out quite nicely. Uh, so that's her. And then again, we'll pull forward the rear two, just so you can have a look at these, just to look at the consistency from model to model in the unit. Um, I love that the silver and steel is quite vibrant and clean as well. Just really adds a nice sort of uh, colorway to the models and just adds that sort of extra detail that you'd expect and makes those areas stand out quite nicely. And then the final one from uh, that unit on the right, Again, double fusion pistol on her. Uh, she looks like she's just landing as well, which is quite cool. Uh, but yeah, just really, really well done. And that's the, uh, the the final Seraphim from this unit on the right. Uh, absolutely love this color scheme, as I mentioned. Uh, I really, really will be sad to see it leaving the uh, studio and office once uh, once the projects are all sorted. Um, but yeah, just absolutely love it. Hope you like it. There's uh, well, the next up. We've got some of the heavy hitting sisters. Uh, so do not miss those. So last up, we have all of the Retributors from this force, uh, another iconic unit from the Sisters Battle range, which uh, has been really, really lovely created in um, plastic. Uh, just really sort of ability to make them very unique rather than the uh, the old metal ones, which were the same pose, obviously with a different weapon loadout. Um, now these are all fully magnetized uh, and interchangeable. Uh, the Retributor kit is probably one of the most difficult kits uh, to, to fully mag, just because of the, the pipes, the weapons, the arms, and also the backpacks uh, but we have done it on these uh, these 10 so they are all interchangeable between the uh, the, the heavy flamers and also the uh, the melters and also the uh uh, the heavy bolters so they are completely interchangeable and i just want to show you that obviously the parts it's a uh, quite a difficult way some of them need the arms to be uh, the flamers need the arms to be joined to the miniature um whereas obviously the heavy bolter and the um and the uh, sort of multi-melter, uh, they have a, a separate magnetized arm with a magnetizing point on top of the gun as well. So very, very difficult to magnetize, uh, but we've, we've done it and Paul's done a great job in doing it on these as well. So let's pull them forward just so you can see. Uh, so if you do see them moving around a little bit, that's the reason why it's because they are all fully magnetized, just so you're, uh, you're aware of that. Uh, again, you've got a sister here just uh, turning to bear on a new target or something, which is really cool. Again, you've got these awesome sort of cobblestone bases that these guys, these ladies have got. Uh, again, you can see that lovely purple kind of robe that she's got on the back here uh, again really really well, well executed and again just to show you that these are loose they are all fully magnetized and do uh, are interchangeable nice solid magnetizing points but they are all fully magged bar the, uh, the the superiors which I'll bring forward now so you can see a superior um, again just really commanding pose obviously reading from the tome uh, you've got some nice text and writing in there also in various different colors which is cool uh, just uh, foot raised in a very commanding stoic uh, sort of imperial pose as you expect which is 
really cool. Uh, and then we'll just jump through and have a look at some more of these uh, sisters with the multi melters. Again, really, really cleanly executed. Lovely, super vibrant orange armor. And then you've got this uh, really nice purple complementary sort of cloak work done there. A little bit of blue details, those screens and things on the backpacks also done. Uh, and again, those lovely desaturated red sort of gun casings to not take away from the super vibrant armor or the, uh, the, the really warm purple that these ladies have got. Um, so yeah, just uh, again, just so you can see here, this, this awesome, awesome uh, multi melter. Uh, you've got those lovely sort of uh, almost teal kind of colored um, sort of uh, purity seal wax parts as well, which is really cool. She's just about to obliterate someone there, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, I'll pull forward some of the cherubs in the back as well, because obviously the units do come with uh, these cherubs. And you can see again, Paul's done a great job on all of these, just really, really painting them to a super high finish. Uh, we've got obviously this uh, bit of sort of brass or gold work on the base with a bit of verdigris or copper, should I say, with some verdigris, uh, really clean wings and things just painted on those. Uh, and I'll pull forward another one just so you can see one of the other ones as well, just so you can see the consistency from those to those. Uh, but again, really, really well executed, really nice skin tones on these cherubs also. Uh, and I'll pull forward the other two at the back so you can just have a look at those also. Again, really cleanly done. Uh, the silver works awesomely done. All the gold painted to a really nice standard. And again, a little bit of sort of mud and stuff on the base on this one. I do like the different sort of earthy tones on the bases. So the greens and the uh, the purples that are done on the bases, which are really, really cool. Um, and again, we've got this really nice OSL effect from this light on the back of these wings here as well, which is just really, really well done. Uh, so again, Paul's done a great job on these. And then we'll look at the second squad armed with heavy bolters. Again, these are all fully magnetized in case you see any little bit of movement. That's perfectly normal. It's down to the fact that they are fully magged. You can see it moves a little bit, uh, but they are all magged uh, and interchangeable between all three of the Holy Trinity. So flame up, melter, and also heavy bolter. Uh, again, so you've got this awesome, awesome sister here with a heavy bolter. Um, we'll just pull forward the next one here so you can have a look at her as well. Again, this really nice desaturated sort of weapon cases in that red, which is just great. Um, and uh, again, vibrant orange for the armor and these really cool sort of earthy tone bases just to not take away from the miniature too much and complement the colorway quite nicely. Uh, I'll pull forward one more so you can have a look at these heavy bolters. Again, as I mentioned, uh, the magnetizing process on these is not the easiest, being frank, uh, but we've managed to obviously do it on these so that they are all fully interchangeable. And uh, again, really, really well done. Uh, really clean miniatures. The, the orange armor just uh, is super, super vibrant and complements the rest of the model really well. I love the fact that the, the, the a lot of the hair on the miniatures is also white as well, just to really add another sort of splash of, of color in there, just to uh, just, just make those areas sort of stand out on the miniatures quite nicely, which is cool. Uh, so that's the, uh, the Retributors and then finishes up this awesome custom scheme, Sisters of Battle Army. Uh, I do hope you like it ever so much. They're now off to purify in the name of the Emperor. I'll see you very soon on the next one. Take care and thanks for watching. Bye-bye. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.